Hi there, my name is Chadwick and I'm going to tell you how to install MSPY and get it going on your phone and also uh, on your your dashboard, your control panel. Basically there are two steps to installing MSPY. It's very simple. One, you actually install the actual program onto your smartphone which can be an iPhone, Android, Symbian, whatever you have. And then secondly, once you, after you do that, you connect the target phone that has the application on it to your computer, to your dashboard, the site that monitors everything. And that's all you do. So let's get started. I will be using an Android phone, Samsung. Once you press enter from actual, after entering the URL, the website, it'll start downloading automatically. That's what it did on my Android. It just downloaded automatically. It'll come up and it'll say, would you like to install this application? You click install. After it installs, which takes 30 seconds to a minute, it'll then say done. You click, you push done on your phone. You are officially finished with your phone. Now all you have to do is step two, which is connect your phone, which you just installed the application on, to your dashboard, which is very simple. I am on my dashboard right now, as you can see, which we've been on, which I've been on ever since I've started talking. And this is my dashboard. Over here on the left, you have the column of everything that you can do. View events, view photos taken with the phone, uh, view videos that have been taken with the phone, recordings, etc. You can actually set your phone to record at a certain time so that if you are talking to somebody and your phone is just sitting on a table, it will start recording everything around it and the other person, if you're trying to record a particular conversation, will have no idea. That's also the beauty about MSPY. If you check your applications on the phone that you put it on, it does not show up so people have no idea that it's installed. Clever. So, we go to now, you want to connect to your dashboard. Here's how we do that. Follow my cursor. I'm going down to my numbers. See how it's highlighted? Click on my numbers. Then you want to go over to the far right, follow my cursor, to the little blue dot right there that says details. Click on that. And up comes these three things. Alias. All aliases is name. What do you want to name your phone? I called mine my droid, just to keep it simple. The next is the phone number. You type in the phone number of the phone you put the application on. All in one line as you can sell like I did. No spaces, no dashes, etc. And lastly, you get the IMEI code, which every phone has that. How do you get this code? Watch. You, go, you bring up your dial pad on your phone like you're going to make a call. You then press star pound zero six pound and up comes here it says MEID but on the dashboard it's I it's MEI just the MEI code every phone has this copy this code that you just got on your phone into the space where my cursor is on the dashboard exactly as it is here press OK on your phone to finish with that you're done with that put your phone to the side so now you have all three things filled in the name you want to call your phone the actual phone number with no spaces or dashes and the MEI code. After you type those three things in, you go right here to it says update and click update. After that, give that 30 seconds or so to say everything has been updated. Then follow my cursor where it says my droid. See the little green dot next to it? That shows that mine is connected and right now being monitored. It will take, when you first set up your phone, it will take up to 30 minutes, but mine was very quick. Mine took about 15 to start act to be activated and to start monitoring. You'll know it is activated and on when this little light right here next to that is green, as you can see mine is. When it's not on, it will be gray. But uh, don't worry, if you ever see it once in a while and it's gray, don't worry. It goes off and on occasionally because it's uh, updating the, at the interval of time that you selected, which I will show you really quickly. You can select the number of minutes that you want your phone to be updated and also the location of your phone. How do we do that? We go back to My Numbers. My Numbers is the main thing where you want to change anything. Go back to where before where we went to Details, but instead of going to the little blue dot, we go to the second one right here which says Settings. We click on Settings. And right here is your Update Intervals. This right here, the top one, update interval, is how often you want your dashboard, your web control panel that we're looking at right now, to update, to be updated from your phone. 
I like 10 minutes. Standard is 20. That's what it comes standard with. And then obviously second is the location update interval, which is how often your phone is updated location-wise using GPS. And five is the normal, so I kept it at five. And that's basically it. Anything you change, go down to save, and after that, you're literally finished. It's two basic steps, very simple. If you have any questions, please feel free to call toll-free 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the 800 number on mspy.com, or use their live online chat, which is excellent, by the way. Um, that's it. Uh, my name is Chadwick. I hope you understood and enjoyed this little tutorial. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact mspy.com. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks for listening.